Wrestling fans, thanks for clicking today's Dread D. Rose report. Yes, I like the Colts. I like Manning. I don't know what to do. Hey, uh, MercuryNews.com has an article up about WrestleMania 31 coming into the Bay Area. Vince McMahon promised the event would set a new standard for fans and be the most interactive experience in WrestleMania history. I just hope it's a good WrestleMania. Give me some wrestling with drama. Love it. I care about the interactive, but unless uh, we get to make all the matches, and don't give us a list that you got to choose from here. Hey, word from uh, Raw that the voting last night of the Slammy Awards was 100% legitimate. The winner uh, were who the fans voted for on the WWE app. So now <laughs> you got to listen. You know who that 100% for a fact the voting was legitimate where that word's coming from. So it could have been. I don't know. I don't know. Speculation on everything. Hey, uh, tonight's uh, WWE main event SmackDown taping will be taking place from the Moda Center. Uh, Portland, Oregon. No match has been announced, but uh, it's the final show before uh, Sunday's TLC pay-per-view. Since uh, they didn't do it on Monday night, uh, WWE may end up taping two superstar matches for uh, tonight's, well, tonight, for uh, Wednesday. Uh, Todd McFarlane is giving away one of his new Undertaker statues later today. Well, anyway, fans can follow him on Twitter, I guess, at uh, Tom McFarlane uh, to be eligible. The statue is selling for $295 on WWE and Farrell's website. Well, anyway, it appears to be selling good. Uh, Farrell's website has sold out of uh, autographed statues, but uh, still has the regular statues and unpainted uh, statues available. Only 750 Undertaker statues were made, of, you know, just made. So it was kind of rare. Don't know how much they'll go for, but I'll let you know later. I don't know if they're bidding or just, just buy them outright. In other words, I don't know. And I don't say that very often. But anyway, WWE noted on Twitter that more than 1.6 million votes were cast on uh, the WWE app last night for the 2013 Slammies. And at one point, Michael Cole stated that more than 2 million votes have been cast. But the next segment, he stated it was 1.5 million. It could have been one guy voting a million times, though. You never know. There were uh, people in WWE that pointed out Daniel Bryan won the fans' vote for star, uh, Superstar of the Year, but wasn't considered enough of an attraction by Vince McMahon to be given a run with the WWE title, which is odd. Voting for the Superstar of the Year was extremely close, by the way. WWE's website has uh, published a post-Raw reaction from backstage. Shawn Michaels spoke to Josh Matthews, which I don't know why he did, but apparently he was the only one around and said it wasn't too weird being on stage with Daniel Bryan. Uh, Sean uh, thought it would feel more uncomfortable, but it wasn't uh, that bad after so long. Uh, you kind of get used to double-crossing people. Sean's surprised that uh, Byron uh, won the Superstar of the Year, though. Not good, Byron. Uh, Bryan won Superstar of the Year, though, but uh, only because John Cena usually has a lock-in on that award. Sean praised uh, Bryan and his talent that he taught Brian. Isn't that nice to pat yourself on the back? All right, Brian uh, Alvarez of uh, F4W Online attended last night's Raw in Seattle and noted that uh, many uh, that there was uh, many Hulk Hogan videos uh, that were shown during Raw uh, commercial breaks that we don't get to see. Dave Meltzer added that uh, there's a reason uh, for this and apparently it's being done to hype the Hogan's eventual return to WWE. Maybe he'll turn out to be an announcer or something, too. Keep him on, you know, uh, lower pay scale. And uh, I kind of missed the Lawler commentating last night. Michael Cole and, I don't know, I don't think they get along too good, uh, JBL. JBL don't get along with that. You talk about a bully. Ooh, he's caused many of people backstage in uh, WWE to quit. Uh, this is years ago. WWE's website is reporting that Alberto Del Rio, by the way, was diagnosed with a concussion following his match with uh, Sin Cara on Raw. And uh, it was reported that uh, he will be evaluated today and won't be returning to action until it's clear by the company's testing. And after speaking with Del Rio following his match, it was determined that he had suffered an injury as a result of a top rope sunset flip powerbomb. Followed, uh, following some initial testing, Dr. Mann, uh, M, 
a man, there you go, diagnosed Del Real with a, a concussion and will be evaluated, like I say, today. And uh, as well as administering the impact testing to determine the timetable for the former world heavyweight champion to his recovery time. And right after that, um, that was really right at the, that was the end of the match uh, when that happened. And he just like laid there in the ring. I don't know whether he was knocked out or not, but the referee was over the top of him. Then they went on to uh, present an award. All right, what do you think is going on with uh, Vince? I mean, not Vince, but uh, Triple H and Stephanie, and uh, had, I think had Kane over there and and uh, Cena all standing together, looking at Randy Orton on the ground after he ran into Stephanie. Kind of somber, wasn't it? Poor guy. WWE's NXT is going to be returning to Fort Pierce, Florida, Saturday, January 4th, if you live down that way. Tickets go on sale at noon today. The law reports that uh, the date for WrestleMania 31 at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, California is going to be March 29th, 2015. They also added tickets going to be ranging. Now, I don't know who the law is, but uh, that's what it must be a website. They added that the tickets will range from $25 up to ten thousand dollars for platinum seats. I don't care what color the seats are. Man, ten thousand dollars. We'll know more later on the after the press press conference going on today. Solomon Crow was continuing his new uh, hacker gimmick on Twitter and wrote, "Don't fight it, become infected." Hashtag infected Crow and spread my virus. Anyway, we know earlier that uh, Rey Mysterio has been favoring his knee at last night's Raw in Seattle. Word is that both Rey and Big Show are working through knee problems. And uh, two more WWE DVDs from 2005 has been added to the better hang on to it, better get them while you can, going out of print list. New Year's Revolution uh, 2005 and Tombstone, The History of the Undertaker. All right. Uh, WWE shop website has um, released a better than perfect t-shirt for Curtis Axel, new Rey Mysterio mask, and a new Widow's Web special edition t-shirt for uh, AJ Lee. I always thought uh, Victoria was the, well, she was the Black Widow or something, wasn't she? Anyway, the same Philly.com uh, reports that Philadelphia didn't get WrestleMania 31 because WWD didn't want to follow the Super Bowl at Levi Stadium. Uh, notes that the city of brotherly love is still the front runner of WrestleMania 32 in 2016. Well, I was worried. Speaking of WrestleMania 31, we're going to have uh, uh, the, the press conferences be uh, going on here later today in Santa Clara, California. Any big news other than what I've already told you comes out of there, I'll let you know. The big winners for 2013, the Slammies were Daniel Bryant, five awards, The Shield, four awards, The Rhodes Family, three awards. That's it. Everybody else probably got about one or two. Xavier Woods got his rib uh, checked out on last night's Raw following his loss to Brodus Clay. Well, that sucker landing on your ribs, you better have him checked out. Better check your laundry too. Damian Sandow deleted his previous tweets about being upset with not winning a summer, I mean a uh, Slammy Award, and being ready to take action. He's now telling fans, "Get ready, be prepared." Because I'll be losing to more and more people on WWE if they don't respect me. Uh, Mick Foley's big Cactus Jack announcement at midnight uh, ended up being a that the original Cactus Jack t-shirts are going to be available for one week only on TopRopeTuesday.com. The name of the place, TopRopeTuesday.com for $19.99. Oh, he wasn't coming out of retirement. Ray Mysterio has been seen favoring the knee after the eight-man tag match on Raw in Seattle last night. All right, about done. Hang on. After uh, last night's Raw in Seattle, John Cena defeated Randy Orton by DQ. Orton used the steel chair. Orton then went for the RKO and caught an attitude adjustment instead. Oh, this is terrible. He can't. Poor Orton. Orton is just getting mistreated so bad. Cena then called out Daniel Bryan to a huge pop. Booker T came out and encouraged Bryan to do, of all things, the spin a rooney. 
Uh, Bryant hesitated but did one, barely. Cena was uh, up next and he also barely executed it. Uh, how you can spin on a, a canvas mat like that, with, unless you got a you know, top on it, give you rug burns in a minute. I've had rug burns forever on my knees, but that was for another reason. Hey, uh, no. Uh, Cena brought out John Laronitis, of all things, who did uh, the People's uh, Power Spooner, Spinner Rooney. Then Titus and Neil did a pretty good Spinner Rooney, I guess. Stephanie was called out. She hes hesitated, and then she did a Spinner Rooney. CM Punk was next in his underwear, I guess. He and uh, he also did it. Booker T thanked everyone to end the show and sent everyone home really happy. All right, another, believe it or not, there's another script of the WWT Attitude Era episode of Raw has hit the web. Uh, Longtime fans may recall the premiere of Raw episode on TNN, which uh, took place September 25th, 2000, and featured the return of Stone Cold Steve Austin following a lengthy layoff due to neck surgery. The episode was headlined by a WWF Championship match pitting The Rock against Chris Benoit. Courtesy of a uh, reddit.com user, uh, the script has been shown on the internet. Uh, by the way, if you want, you can go to my uh, Facebook page. It's just under Daryl Rose, I think it's not D Rose. Uh, let's go to the video store. But anyway, I've got the, the script on my Facebook page. Uh, the user uh, was able to get a hold of the script from his father, and, who worked backstage that night at the Bryce Jordan Center. Uh, State College, Pennsylvania. That's how the guy got a hold of the script. Happy birthday to two-time uh, TNA X Division champion Matt Bentley, also known as Michael Shane, 34 years old, current WWE wrestler JTG, which you don't see hardly any of him anymore. 29 years old, one-time WWF light heavyweight champion S.A. Rios. Uh, 35 years old also, today would have been the birthday of former WWF developmental champion and ECWA Super 8 winner Steve Bradley would have been 38 years old. Thanks for clicking you guys. I gotta go.